for those of you guys who don't know, this thing right here is a hazmat train. And I'm going to tell you guys how to spot one and what it's carrying. What's up, guys and girls? I am John. Welcome back to Rails, Tells, and Trails. So with everything that's been going on with all the derailments, we're going to talk about these things right here, hazmat trains. I'm going to tell you how to spot one, what they typically look like, and how to easily figure out what they're carrying. Because despite what some yahoos call into radio stations and say, they're not. it's not some big secret. They're hazmat trains. They carry... Bad stuff it is what it is. America relies on them. But a lot of people are curious about how do I spot one? What's it carrying? I'm curious about what's coming through my community. Well, I'm going to tell you how to do that. Like I said, it's not a big secret. But first, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. And our sponsor is you, the viewers. All of you guys that have subscribed and supported us and joined our Discord community, I want to say thank you because you made this channel what it is today. And if if you are part of the Salty Crew, that is the 80% of people that watch these videos and don't hit that subscribe button, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Share the videos. Hit the notification bell. Join the crew. Join our community. We'd love to have you. Helps our channel grow. Much appreciated. All right, so these things right here, hazmat trains, they're in the news everywhere right now, and that's because of Ohio. But a lot of people outside of the industry don't even know what they are, how to spot one, or what they even carry. So before we get into this, big shout out to Wild World of Trains. This is probably one of the best collections of trains I have seen on YouTube. Um, so credit to them, link to their uh, channel down below. What we have here is what is affectionately known as a key train. It is a hazmat train. And typically, they are built in this manner right here. Now, they can now they can look differently, but this is the most common way you're going to see a key train or a hazmat train. You're going to have an engine consist, a buffer car, and then a solid row of tank cars. Now, with this solid row of tank cars, they may be anywhere from 20 to 100. That is absolutely common. Big ones like this can be upwards of 100 plus, typically is what you'll see. And they can easily be carrying about 30,000 gallons of product per car. So let's say you had 100 cars, that's 3 million gallons of product right there going down the rails. So the big thing people ask is, well, how do I know what they're carrying? Well, let's take a look at this. These trains, and it's not gonna be very clear here, engines, engine, buffer car. Let's see if I can get a good picture. That right there, that right there is a hazmat placard. This is what they look like. They are required by federal law when carrying hazardous materials to be clearly displayed on all four sides of the container vessel or container, you know, in this case, that vessel is the tank car, uh, with a clearly marked number and identification. So how do you figure out what that is? Well, I'm gonna go over that here in a minute. But as you can see, let's see if we can get a good shot. So see, you got one on this side, you got one on the back end, you just saw one on the back end over there. And like I said, these things are long. And then they will have another buffer car. Now, you won't always see a distributed power motor on the back end. As we will see here, this one just has a fret on it. Now, with these placards, there we go. Okay, it's, a li it's blurry, but where that white box is is where those numbers will be. If you can see those numbers you can easily look up and get a general idea of what is being carried in those containers. Also, it has to be clearly labeled the loaded and empty weight and the holding capacity of those tank cars 
has to be clearly painted and marked on. Those are federal requirements. So now you're already getting some information. How do you find out what's in there? There's this great thing called the Emergency Response Guide. You can get it on Amazon. It's not that expensive. It's an orange book. We used it in first response when we're responding to hazardous uh, material call out. It's a really, really interesting and informative book. So you have a way, if you can see that number that is on the side of that tank car, you can look at that number in the ERG and see what it is. And not only that, it'll tell you a response plan for it. And it is issued by the Department of Transportation, Federal Department of Transportation. If you're curious as to what these hazmat trains are, go ahead and take a look at them. So I hope that helps. I hope that points you in the right direction on how to spot, identify, and figure out what a hazmat train is and what it's carrying. Go out there. I mean, these trains are running through your communities. You have a right to know what's going through your community. Now you know. And it's cheap to figure it out and get that little guidebook. So, guys, I hope this helps. Do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below for more railroad content and traveling. We're going to be probably hitting the road here before too long. And we're going to be taking you guys with us. Thanks again for everything. Check out our other videos. Share them. Give them thumbs up. That does a whole world of good for us. And also check out our merch store. We've got Rails, Tales, and Tech trails uh, t-shirts and a lot of other goodies on the store till next time see ya